Hey everybody, Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick unboxing and first look at Google Glass. This wearable extension of the Google brand is priced at $1,500, only available by invitation, and only compatible with Android phones running at the very least ice cream sandwich. So for $1,500, and again by invitation, you can become a Google Explorer, as they've dubbed owners of Google Glass, and you can see the XE right there on the packaging. This is the most polished version of Glass thus far. Far, uh, a little over 10,000 in the marketplace and it's clear that Google is trying to roll this out in a larger capacity uh, as you can see I went with the charcoal color you can pick this up in several different varieties I believe they have tangerine sky blue and uh, of course a white which they refer to as cotton and finally I believe a shale color which is the other dark color besides uh, charcoal those were the two I was interested in most and if you're wondering, if you're not familiar with this, basically this is a headset that resembles glasses, you're going to see in a moment, uh, but more importantly has the innards of a smartphone. And Google has spent a tremendous amount of time and money developing this in order to deliver what you are about to see right now. So let me go ahead and put the top of the box aside and get this peeled off. And there we have it. Uh, you're looking at at least the first wearable uh, computer, in my opinion, that actually has a chance of making it. Now, I know a lot of you are looking at this and saying, I would never buy this, I would never wear it, even if it was $500. But what you're not aware of or not thinking about is the possibilities that glass really can harness and transform into over the course of its existence. And that's why this program is called the Explorer program, because Google is actively learning all of the applications for this device. It's one of those things where at its uh, inception, it was a device that really offered limitless possibilities. And that's what excites me so much about this piece of technology. So you can see with the packaging right here, they label all of the different sections of glass in order to at least familiarize you initially. So you can see the back end uh, is where you listen, and that's through a transducer, which actually uh, creates vibrations on your skull, essentially, in order for you to hear what glass is outputting rather than having to use an earbud. You can see the on-off switch is right here. I'll actually be taking you on a tour of the equipment in a second, don't worry. Uh, touch interface right here on the side, the right side of the actual glass. You've got the capture button right here to take a still image because as I mentioned, this is really, uh, at least the innards represent uh, what was a top tier phone maybe a year ago or a little bit more. And that's what's so intriguing about the design that has gone into this product. You also have the ability to see right here, which is because you have a prism, that's your display, uh, that's the way you're going to actually see everything through glass. It hangs above your right eye, so it doesn't actually block your vision. And essentially, it's going to give you through, I believe, a 640 by 480 um, display in that prism. Um, you know, correct me if I'm wrong on the resolution there what should equate to the experience of looking at a 25 inch HD screen from roughly six feet away. I think they said six or eight feet. And then you have adjustable nose pieces and really what they promise to be the most comfortable and universal fit of any at least band designed for glasses ever made. So let me get this out of the box and actually show you everything. We've got the prism right there that I've been talking about and there is the 5 megapixel camera also capable of 720p video capture which can be shot in 10 second clips or you can actually do continuous but that is limited by the battery life of this device which by the way Google does claim can get you through a full day but until I actually use it we'll see if that's actually true uh, you can see the capture button right there as I mentioned before, this is a touch surface that reacts to gestures in order to allow you to scroll you know, through menus and navigate uh, through glass in general. On the inside of the device, we have our power button as well as the glass button there, which I, I believe it is a button, but again, this is the transducer that's going to give you audio if you don't want to use the included earpiece. Uh, there is an option to buy stereo buds for this for $85 but Google does stock include a mono earpiece so that uh, even though this isn't supposed to be audible to those around you in the event that maybe it is, you can go ahead and put in an earpiece for more privacy 
uh, and just overall performance. But that's it, really lightweight and pretty incredible when you think about that this has all of the innards again of a smartphone, even mid-tier uh, these days. Uh, it's not a quad-core chip. It's a Texas Instrument OMAP uh, processor. You've got 16 gigs of internal storage, as I mentioned, a five megapixel camera, battery life that's somewhere in the vicinity of what we expect from, I won't say smartphones today, but maybe a year ago. And this is where the battery is actually located. All of the other components are right here. Uh, and this is really the brain, essentially, of glass. So that pretty much covers glass itself. Uh, nothing else really to show, very flexible, and as I mentioned, lightweight, which it has to be, because how could you wear this for long periods of time? I also want to point out, of course, no uh, actual corrective lenses available yet for glass, although they are starting to incorporate that. And quite frankly, it's surprising that it wasn't something offered earlier, because for people like me who do wear glasses, kind of tough to pitch this. I mean, I'll be forced to use contacts in the meantime, unless I can somehow get these over my glasses. But uh, the point is, is that it's a little bit ironic that here Google has given us a whole new way to see the world, but yet if you need glasses or contacts, you'll be blind. But just a side note, anyway, they are fixing that, so it's not really a critique. Let's get the packaging out of the way and take a look at what else is in the box. Quite a nice job with packaging, by the way, I have to say, but I expected that from Google on this. I mean, it's a $1,500 product, early adopters alone on this one, pretty much. I mean, 10,000 people in the world is not a lot when you think about it. Uh, some glass branding on this carry case, which of course is for glass. And then we've got what looks to be the earbud right here. Let me take that out. And yes, it is. It says enhance your uh, audio experience with the mono earbud engineered specifically for glass. And they basically just give you some directions on how to actually use it and adjust it. And then we can see right here the actual earpiece, and it does use micro USB, which is what powers glass as well. That's how we're going to be charging it, or I should say I'll be charging it. And this is a pretty nice case. Uh, definitely nice. No question about that. See if there's anything else actually in the case. It seems we have some paperwork. Let's see what this is. Uh, basically, just some literature about the case. This pouch has been crafted using Japanese microfiber made from recycled materials designed to be both light and durable. Take this with you and protect your glass and its accessories. So not just for glass, also accessories. And by that, they're talking about the earbud. I don't think they're talking about this, which I'll get to uh, a little bit later when I'm done with the unboxing. That was included. But what, what else do we have here? We've got our traditional USB wall charger which isn't so traditional looking. Besides the two-tone, a complete departure from what you're used to seeing, I think, from every other manufacturer. And that's nice because, quite frankly, this device is unlike anything before it. Uh, so there is your charger, so fairly uh, standard on that. And then we have our micro USB actual charging cable that attaches to that, which is flat, but more interestingly, has an L-shaped design. So that I take that to mean that that's probably there for a reason and has to do something with the fact that our uh, micro USB charging port is right there and it showed before underneath, uh, as I said, again, where all the action is on glass. And it's got to be a bit of a difficult angle, and that's why they've designed this L shape to accommodate it. Uh, Google also recommends you only use this charger. I know most manufacturers do, but uh, in this case, considering the expense and the R&D invested in glass, I would stick to their advice. I know I will be. Lastly, I would assume this is some literature on the product itself, maybe quick guide, because I haven't seen one yet. And a whole unique take on packaging, uh, no question about that. You got questions, we've got, or we got answers. And then, yeah, basically, quick start and just telling you to go to google.com glass to start exploring, and then some different uh, nose pieces to adjust for personal comfort, smaller and larger sizes than what comes stock on the device. So that pretty much covers what's in the box. I also showed before that they do include uh, a pair of shades, which they refer to as active shades, I believe. Yeah, uh, active shades or shades that are active shaded. And, you know, basically very obvious, this is gonna give you the ability to have sunglasses uh, for glass. They also make these in clear for an additional $75, but of course, as I mentioned before, I'm more interested personally in actually getting 
uh, prescriptions for something like this, but that's only in the event that I find that I'm actually going to be using these on a regular basis. And I think that's part of the reason Google didn't push that initially so heavily is because adoption is necessary before you start to worry about details like people wanting to actually uh, port their prescriptions over to these glass is, as I will call them. But uh, very interesting product, certainly looks to be groundbreaking, uh, may change the way that my channel operates fundamentally if I find that I really can start using this for reviews, unboxings. That's where, for me, it's intriguing, but it has so many different uses. That's what makes uh, glass so unique and really a game-changing product. As I mentioned before, I can't predict what uh, adoption will be like, but what I can speak to is uh, the way that the industry has changed with regard to tablets and smartphones. And that's what Google is going for here. Uh, you know, 10 years ago, I don't think anyone imagined that their life would be uh, as data centric or centered around cell phones and tablets in the form that they are now and the way that those devices have changed the way they actually lead their daily lives. Well, that's exactly the goal here. Uh, with a device like Glass. Google trying to change the way we interact with our data, get it, and live our lives. You know, their pitch on this is that don't let your smartphone keep your head down. You know, that's literally the goal. If you're wearing something like this, you're not going to always be looking at your phone, which is admittedly a very annoying thing that many, many people do, including myself on occasion, uh, but I do try to avoid it. Some people are certainly worse than others. Uh, and there's no question that wearing something like this isn't exactly the best trade-off because even though now people may not be looking down at their phones, people will be staring at them because why are they wearing this on their head? But I think it's more of a matter of time before something like this isn't something to gawk at and that people are going to be looking at and saying, why are they wearing that? So clearly, as I mentioned, an early adopter device. That's why it's priced as such and uh, limited in terms of features. I mean, right now, I know a WordPress app was just developed for it, just launched. Uh, but other than that, I mean, this is all about uh, using voice commands to search, make calls, navigate, capture stills, capture video. Again, everything that your smartphone can do. And since you've got 12 gigs of usable flash space on here, it is a legitimate device. So not a traditional companion device like we've seen uh, with other accessories. In fact, as you may have already noticed, uh, far more expensive than any mobile phone it's going to actually work with. Also wanted to point out there's a sensor right here and that's designed to actually detect when you're actually using glass so that it doesn't just drain down the battery. I think that's the only thing on the hardware I missed. Again, the view for the prism, uh, putting the glasses on you, no. But, you know, this is what I expected and uh, just excited to finally start to use this and see how practical it really is and how uh, comfortable and functional uh, the device is. So a lot to look forward here with Glass. Looking forward to giving further impressions as I spend more time with it. Hope all of you enjoyed the unboxing. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. And of course, as usual, please feel free to subscribe. Later.